Paul Samuelson. Investing should be more like watching paint dry or watching grass grow. If you want excitement, take $800 and go to Las Vegas. This quote perfectly captures the importance of the buy and hold forever strategy, and it works when you invest in stable stocks like the dividend aristocrats, companies known for consistently increasing their dividends for over 20 years. In this video, I'll show you and John the absolute best top 5 dividend aristocrats to buy and hold forever, which promise not just steady income but also the potential for long-term growth. I'll show you stocks that have the potential to make you a multi-millionaire and pay over $5,000 in monthly dividends. And in the end, I'll show you with a portfolio how you can achieve the same number with a considerably less risky strategy. But first, what makes dividend aristocrats special? Dividend aristocrats are special because they're companies that are really good at giving money back to their investors. These companies have a special status because they've been giving increasing dividends to their investors every year for a long time, usually at least 25 years in a row. What makes them stand out is that they stay strong even when things in the economy are not going so well. This is important because it means they're not likely to suddenly drop in value. To figure out if dividend aristocrats are good for you, follow these steps. First, find out about the company. What does it do and how does it make money? Make sure it matches your goals. Look at how much money they've given to investors in the past. Coming up next, the top five dividend aristocrats ranked from great to the highest potential for growth and yield in John's investment. Starting at number five, we have Target Corporation. Known by the ticker symbol TGT, this aristocrat has a current dividend yield of 3.02%, a strong track record of dividend growth with an average growth rate of 10.68%, plus an average annual growth rate of 9.95%, further solidifying its position as a dividend-focused stock. Let's say John invests $10,000 in this stock. After a year, his investment is projected to be valued at $11,297. In 10 years, it's projected to triple to $34,160. Moving on to 20 years, it's projected to reach $119,144. And at the 30-year mark, John's initial investment of $10,000 is projected to reach $424,932 paying an annual dividend of $13,940 or $1,162 monthly. In total, this stock grows his portfolio by $414,932, which includes $305,727 from the rise in stock value and $109,205 from dividends. Target's recent stock performance has been stable due to a modest sales dip, but signs of improvement are showing. The company has effectively managed its stock and met sales expectations. Additionally, its financial outlook has improved compared to the previous year, thanks to effective cost-saving measures positioning them for growth as sales recover. TGT's persistent appeal as an investment is reinforced by its remarkable 53-year streak of increasing dividends, offering reliability for income-seeking investors. Furthermore, the current lower valuation of TGT stock presents an attractive entry point for investors with anticipated future growth potential. It's a timely opportunity for investors to consider Target as a reliable choice for steady income and the possibility of future stock price increases. Next, we have NextEra Energy with the ticker symbol of NEE. -E. This stock has a very attractive dividend record with a massive commitment to rewarding investors well through growing payouts every year. That's perhaps not all that shocking given that it's a utility, a type of company known for paying reliable dividends. With a dividend yield of 3.22%, an average yearly return of 9.89%, and a 10-year growth in dividends of 10.98%, this stock proves why it's earned a spot on our list. So, if John invests $10,000 in this stock, here's what he can expect. 
After one year, his investment will slowly grow to $11,311. Projecting ahead a decade, the anticipated value will grow to $34,773. If he stays invested for 20 years, the value of his investment will climb to $125,118, bringing an annual dividend payout of $4,348. After 30 years, his investment, thanks to strong capital appreciation and dividend growth, will climb to $467,579, paying an annual dividend of $18,039, which is a monthly payout of $1,503. In total, the value of his investment will grow by $457,579, with capital appreciation of $323,149 and an additional $134,429 from dividends. The company's regulated utility, Florida Power & Light, is the largest rate-regulated utility in Florida. The utility distributes power to nearly 6 million customer accounts in Florida and owns 32 gigawatts of generation. Florida Power contributes roughly 70% of the company's consolidated operating earnings. The company's high-quality regulated utility in Florida and fast-growing renewable energy business give investors the best of both worlds, a secure dividend and industry-leading renewable energy growth potential. To top it off, the stock has maintained a consistent dividend payout record since 1986 and has increased its dividend each year since 1995, earning it the status of a dividend aristocrat. Next up, at number 3, we have J.P. Morgan Chase & Company, with the ticker symbol JPM. JPM's dividend yield is currently 2.4%, but for long-term investors, the company promises a very generous 10-year dividend growth rate of 11.1%. It also has a solid share price appreciation of 11.93% on average every year over the past 10 years. Based on these metrics, if John invests $10,000 in this stock, after one year his investment will be valued at $11,433. In 10 years, it's projected to reach $37,844. Moving on to 20 years, it's expected to grow to $140,737. And at the 30-year mark, John's initial investment of $10,000 is projected to reach $515,090, paying an annual dividend of $8,359 or $697 monthly. In total, this stock grows his portfolio by $505,090, which includes $433,742 from the rise in stock value and $71,348 from dividends. If you think these figures are good, just wait until the last stock, which has the potential to add over $2 million to John's investment. Also, in the end, we'll show you a portfolio that can considerably reduce the stock investment risk. Companies like JP Morgan only add icing on top of the cake, as it's among the largest and most well-established banks in the world, with a history of over 200 years. The company operates in various segments, providing a wide range of financial products and services to individuals, businesses, and institutions. JP Morgan is renowned for its strong balance sheet, meaning it holds substantial liquidity to prepare for economic downturns or uncertain times. This conservative approach to managing its finances has helped the bank navigate through challenging periods such as the financial crisis of the late 2000s and maintain stability. Despite the inevitable cyclical nature of the banking industry, J.P. Morgan has consistently shown resilience and remained a powerful player in the U.S. financial system. Its strong financial position and profitability give investors confidence in its long-term prospects. At number two, we have AbbVie Incorporated with the ticker symbol ABBV. AbbVie is a leading pharmaceutical company known for its generous dividend policy. It has an impressive track record of increasing its dividends for quite some time now. 
Currently, AbbVie offers one of the highest dividend yields in the industry, standing at a very impressive 3.68%. But for long-term investors, the company promises an even better 10-year dividend growth rate of 14.11% and capital appreciation of 13.18%. If John invests $10,000 in AbbVie, after a year, the investment will be valued at $11,686. In 10 years, it's projected to reach $48,142. Moving on to 20 years, it's expected to grow significantly to $239,241. And at the 30-year mark, John's initial investment of $10,000 is projected to reach an impressive $1,230,917, paying an annual dividend of $50,212 or $4,184 monthly. In total, this stock grows his portfolio by $1,220,917, which includes $905,955 from the rise in stock value and $314,963 from dividends. That number might seem unrealistic, but that's how reinvestment strategies work. Reinvesting dividends multiplies your investment, and a decent dividend growth rate does the rest. AbbVie stands out in the pharmaceutical industry due to its strong dividend history and high dividend yield. The question is, why has AbbVie performed so well in the market? Well, their pharmaceutical product Humira has been a huge hit. However, its exclusive special rights have expired and some are worried about how this might affect the company moving forward. But know this, AbbVie has a history of doing well even when things change. They have a long-standing reputation for increasing their dividends every year. Over the last 10 years, they've raised their payouts by a massive 270%, which is pretty impressive. What's even better is that they have a good amount of money coming in. They made around $24.8 billion in the past year. This shows they're in a strong position to keep sharing profits with investors even if their earnings slightly decrease. Now remember, at the end of the video, I'll share a strategy for risk reduction by blending companies like AbbVie with our top stock. Building a portfolio leverages each stock's growth strengths, effectively lowering overall risk while optimizing potential returns. But before showing the portfolio that will improve John's investment security at number one, we have Home Depot. Known by the ticker symbol HD, this company offers a current dividend yield of only 2.34%, but the reason it's made it to the top of the list is because of its extraordinary 10-year dividend growth rate of 18.28%. And if that's not enough, it also has a solid average annual share price appreciation of 16.67%. Before revealing how much value this stock can add to John's investment, let's see what makes this company so special. Home Depot is a retail chain with stores and an online platform selling home improvement items like tools, appliances, and gardening supplies. They serve DIY customers and professional contractors, providing a wide selection of products for construction and maintenance. But the thing that makes it an ideal company for a dividend portfolio is that it operates in the home improvement industry, which tends to be relatively stable and resilient even during economic downturns. This stability provides a consistent revenue stream, allowing the company to generate steady earnings to consistently pay its dividends. Okay, back to our investment plan. If John invests $10,000 in this stock after one year, the investment will be valued at $11,901. In 10 years, it's projected to almost six-fold to $57,848. Moving on to 20 years, it's expected to reach $347,079. And at the 30-year mark, John's initial investment of $10,000 is projected to soar to an impressive $2,173,178.
paying an annual dividend of $67,125 or $5,594 monthly. In total, this stock grows his portfolio by $2,163,178, including $1,792,268 from the rise in stock value and $370,910 from dividends. This growth and return really is possible with Home Depot because of the company's dominant position in the home improvement retail market, giving it a competitive advantage. Its widespread presence, strong brand recognition, and extensive product offerings attract a large customer base, contributing to its revenue stability and strengthening its position as a reliable dividend stock. So, investing in these stocks is a great opportunity, but like any investment, stocks have risks. And you simply cannot put all your eggs in one basket. To minimize these risks, diversifying your investment is crucial. That's where the portfolio comes in. If you choose the stocks mentioned above and invest an equal amount in each, you can calculate some key metrics to assess your portfolio's performance. All you have to do is add the respective yield percentages and divide by 5. This will give you your portfolio's average dividend yield, dividend growth, and annual growth. For this portfolio of five dividend aristocrats, we get an average current dividend yield of 2.93%, a strong dividend growth of 13.02%, and an average annual growth of 12.32%. Let's say John invests $10,000 in this portfolio of five stocks. After a year, this investment will be valued at $11,526. In 10 years, it's projected to nearly quadruple to $41,700. Moving on to 20 years, this stock is projected to reach $177,174. And at the 30-year mark, John's initial investment of $10,000 is projected to reach an impressive $767,977, paying an annual dividend of $23,728 or approximately $1,977 monthly. In total, this portfolio significantly grows his investment by $757,977, which includes $592,617 from the rise in stock value and $165,360 from dividends. Impressive. So those were earnings from dividend aristocrats, but are there other dividend stocks that can turn $10,000 into a $5 million asset? Find out in our video Top 9 Dividend Stocks for 2024.